Hallo, ich bin die Christi und ich möchte euch dieses Buch Neulich am Südpol von Lena Hesse auf Englisch vorlesen. Just the other day at the South Pole. As Mr. Early turned on his radio that particular morning, the news was on. At 6 a.m. this morning, a penguin at the South Pole stumbled over a pile of snow, said the news reporter. He fell flat on his face, but was not injured. Mr. Early thought this report was so boring that it made him yawn long and loudly. <sighs> his dog didn't really understand what they were saying on the radio, but when his owner yawned, he couldn't help but do the same. <sighs> Even the 392 fleas in his fur started to yawn. <laughs> and together they were so loud that the Timely family who lived in the apartment below Mr. Early, heard them. All four, father, mother, Ernie, and Emily Timely, yawned as well. Oh. And also old Mrs. Late, who lived below the Timelys in the ground floor apartment. She yawned as she headed out to buy two sesame rolls and a chocolate croissant for breakfast. Mrs. Late's yawn was not so loud, but it lasted a very, very long time. By the time she finished yawning, she had already arrived at the bakery around the corner. Along the way, she passed the sleepyhead twins who were on their way to school, the chimney sweep, the rainbow maker, a group of men in suits, the good morning running group, a unicorn that left everyone wondering where he'd come from, a firefighter who under other circumstances would have paid much more attention to the unicorn, and a swarm of pigeons who were so startled by all of the yawning people that they took flight and scattered in every direction. Pigeons can fly very far, very fast, and very high. So you can imagine what happened next. The whole world yawned. The German teacher and his entire second grade class, just as they were about to say, Guten Morgen. The window washers on the highest buildings in the city. And of course, the people who were sitting in the offices whose windows were being washed. the pilot, his co-pilot, the flight attendants, and all the passengers, even the stowaway in the luggage compartment. And finally, very far away, a penguin at the South Pole yawned too. <sighs> he went and had a really good stretch. And in the process, he started to lose his balance and very nearly stumbled over a pile of snow, but only very nearly. Mr. Early knew nothing of what had happened. He sat down at his kitchen table, sipped his morning coffee and turned the radio off. Good morning. The end. Das war's schon wieder. Ich hoffe, die Lesung hat euch gut gefallen. Wenn ihr mehr Lesungen sehen wollt, abonniert unseren Kanal, indem ihr unten auf den roten Knopf drückt. Und falls ihr das Buch kaufen möchtet, viele stationäre Buchhandlungen nehmen weiterhin Bestellungen auf, per Telefon oder über ihre Webseiten. Wir würden uns freuen, wenn ihr die Buchhandlungen in eurer Nähe unterstützt. Die unten stehenden Links helfen euch, eine Buchhandlung in eurer Nähe zu finden. Bis zum nächsten Mal!